Welcome back, Madden 19 career. And in this episode, the future starts now. Hold up, what's my name? More money, more cash, more, more money. More. It's your boy, More Money Man, bringing you IRL sports and gaming. And in this episode, Madden 19 career, rags to riches. We're going to finally. After an entire season, you see we're on week 12. And as you're seeing, man, a than still an entire season quarterback behind in this letter. episode, we're finally going to make the web performing our debut into the NFL. I our think first that could snap as a quarterback in the first few weeks. But before, so before that, that, we do still have to pay our dues. got to watch some football. I mean, obviously we're has, still the second majority of the quarterback. And Luletta is still starting. So, as a backup quarterback, we're just being patient. Doing our part. But the team, right now the New York Giants are out of the playoff hunt. As you see the division leaders, Eagles, Saints, Lions, and the Seahawks. And you see who's in the wild card and who's in the hunt. And the Giants are nowhere to be found. And another game where I don't take any snaps as a quarterback. We go down 20-26 to against a division rival in the Eagles. And there you see me, right there. Helmet, jersey, pads on. But yet, no snaps taken. And as far as our quarterback, Luleta, 286 yards, no touchdowns, one interception. Now, I'm sitting back here like, Coach, look at me, Coach. Look at me. You put me in the game, I'm not putting up those kind of stats. I'm going to put some stats that's going to get us a W on the board. That's my promise as a player. Now, you guys remember the backstory. Two years out of the league for a knee injury, making a comeback, starting over from scratch after being such a great scramble type of QB, having success, and having to make this kind of comeback. And here you're already seeing the improvements. I've been making quick improvements, already a 70 overall, the way the season's been going. And in our next game, another game where I take zero snaps once again. This time it was against the Chicago Bears. But... You take it and you As you guys have been seeing, I've been steadily improving, constantly improving. And if I keep no improving at this rate, this. Only people who even though we have right two, three games room. left in the season since we're out of the playoffs, I can definitely make a start before the end of the season. Now looking at our quarterback stats and Luletta again, 283 yards, 52% completion, one touchdown, one interception, and that is unacceptable. Especially for a franchise like the New York Giants, who's had history winning, who's got weapons at wide receivers such as Odell and Shepard. No reason why our quarterback isn't throwing a touchdown or two each game. So now, before the following game, we're back in practice. We're already a second string quarterback, so now every snap means even more. Every pass right there, getting a pass out to Shepard. And this is also another opportunity to check out my options. Ingram, our tight end. These are the guys that I can possibly throw into by the end of the season. Right there, we get Ingram again, our tight end. And it's a good practice right there to go into the next week against the Redskins. Now, hopefully this is a game that I finally see some light. Even if it's one snap, a wildcat, anything. I just want to get in the game and finally solidify myself as an NFL player. We're here in Landover, Maryland, playing against the Washington Redskins. Of course, being from D.C., the DMV area, very acquainted with them. And you see, man, we have bottom of the division right behind the Redskins. And you guys are seeing another game, this time only scoring seven points. We need to make a change as a team. Something needs to give, and in my opinion, we have the wide receiver weapons. We have the running backs. I think the quarterback position needs to change, and I'm hoping in this episode we make that change and show what we've been holding back this whole entire season. Now we're gonna look at Lou Letta's stats once again: 18 to 27, much better completion percentage this time, but again, only one touchdown. Only one score for the whole team. So now, that week is over. We're going to go into the next week, which is week 15, against the Tennessee Titans. Can this finally be the game that we've been looking for? We finally get to show what we have on the field. 
Lynch. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the side of their men in blue emerging from the MetLife tunnels. We're set. They have to push on. And, and in this one in the MetLife Stadium, maybe we think. you guys they guess it. Another game, I saw zero snaps. Were, Another fun, game, we go down. Teams this time to the to Titans. And you know people love Definitely a team we should be able to beat. But, again, we can't seem to really keep up with other teams' offenses. And I'm just taking a selfie like, Coach, if you want a real ball of the ball, you got to put me in the game. Sending that to the, you know, to the homegirls. And right here, another terrific practice. Get another skill point. And right there, get the upgrade on strong arm. And I'm hoping that upgrade will help us even out this quarterback battle that's been going on all season. And as you see, Luletta and myself, same overall and I hope this means that coach will take a risk and put me in the game so I can show what I can finally do. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the New York Giants and the Indianapolis Colts. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kick up right around the corner and standing by to call the action. And we are in Lucas Oil Stadium facing the Colts. This is like the second to last week of the regular season. We're already out of playoffs. And I'm just hoping that this may be the game where I finally see my first NFL snap as a quarterback. See the kickoff went well. Third and four. Wait, what's going on? They're putting me in the game? My first time on the field as a quarterback. My heart is beating fast. My hands are shaking, and I had to make sure it was a run the first play. But now, in this second play, dropping back. This is just like practice. Right there, get a pass. You guys see who it is, Odell Beckham Jr., and he's going for it. He gets stopped right at the three in my first pass of the season, a 70-plus yard pass to Odell Beckham. If I'm the coach, he has to be somewhat of a believer. First and goal. I see Shepard. Right there. Oh, I sneak the pass in. And that's a touchdown. We get my first. Our first. Career touchdown. This is how you prove yourself in the NFL. First drive, two passes, and a touchdown to finish it off. Now we're back in the game. Another pass. This time to Odell Beckham once again. I mean, he's our main weapon, and you guys are seeing him three for three. I had to look for Odell whenever I get a chance. Odell right there with the perfect possession catch, and that's got to give a quarterback confidence moving forward, knowing your wide receivers can make plays. Right here, throwing it out to the left side, Odell Beckham again. Yes, again. I'm four for four. Odell is four for three for three on the catches and we are showing great chemistry second and goal all right i got a passing touchdown my first one can i run it in i'm a scrambling quarterback i get the scramble touchdown my second career touchdown and in scrambling fashion since i am a scramble qb i get the touchdown right there and look our offense is putting points on the board this is what we've been missing this whole entire season and right there, Ingram, our tight end. He breaks one tackle, breaks two tackles, breaks another one, gets taken down. And as you guys have seen, I'm five for five on fire on my first career drop. On my second career drop, but just overall, my first half in the NFL as a quarterback, I'm proving I belong. Saquon Barkley just short of the first down. So that drop ends right there. We missed the field goal. But with the momentum we've been having, getting down the field, I think we'll be all right. Shotgun throwing it out. Odell, again, Odell Beckham. He owns that left side of the field and gets a huge game again. Third and goal. Still perfect passing-wise. Swing it. Odell, one-hand catch. 
Can he secure and stay in bounds? Yes, he can. Touchdown Giants. Odell Beckham making a great one hit catch. Securing the foot position, making sure he's in bounds. And I know the coach is like, man, why did I do this week one? I don't know what he was thinking. But I know he understands now. I came here to appall. I made a comeback from two years ago to make plays like this to Odell Beckham with the New York Giants. I see a future in this franchise. New number 10 in town. And this is what I'm talking about. Right there, we've done enough passing. Give it to Stewart. He gets the touchdown. Ice it on the cake. And 42 to 9, our best win of the season, coming in my first start in the NFL. Been waiting 15 weeks, two years, 15 weeks for this moment. And I gotta say, I think I delivered, and I think the team also delivered as a whole. The defense definitely did a good job stopping this Colts offense. And as you see, Andrew Luck had an atrocious game, man. 45.4 QB rating. Myself, 158. QB rating, 245 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, and almost perfect game. With like 12 for 13. Odell Beckham <laughs> did Odell Beckham things. 276 yards receiving. I know he's happy to have a young quarterback that knows how to pass the ball. This wraps up this episode. Started off with a bang. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Stay tuned and make sure you subscribe for more. Racks to Riches coming soon. And your boy is signing out. Please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my life. Please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my life. Please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my life. Please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my life.